Red, yellow and orange is one of Mark Rothko's coloured field paintings. Large canvases in which blocks of colour seem to hang or hover over a background. This painting has a background of washed and streaky cherry red with three blocks of colour, a small yellow brown strip at the top and two rectangles of orange, one yellower and one, the larger of the two, more red. As you look at the rectangles, the colours seem to shift and deepen, darkening towards the edge and revealing shadings of the hues within each patch of colour. It's hard not to read them as patches of sunlight against a darker background, or a fire through the bars of a grate, or sunlight through closed eyelids, a window onto some other reality full of warmth and light. They are simply patches of colour, pigments mixed and brushed onto a surface, yet they evoke a reality in a dreamlike way that they can only hint at. I wonder if the word glory is a bit like a colour field picture. If we try to picture glory, we will often think of rays of sunlight breaking through clouds or dramatic golden sunset reflected in the sea. We think of glory, God's glory, as being like the most spectacular displays that nature can put on, a vast and glorious reality that the sun and the skies give us an image of. Yet when Christ comes in glory, maybe glory won't look like that. Maybe he will look just like himself, only realer and truer in some way that we can't yet know. Maybe when he comes in glory, reality will somehow shift and reconfigure itself around him. Maybe it will be something we can't imagine. Until then, we can think in Christ, of Christ in glory a bit like the images we see in Rothko's painting. Our images of Christ, like the rectangles of yellow and orange, allow us to dream of a reality, of glory, that we can't yet know. They can't give us the whole picture, but maybe they can give us a glimpse, a hint, of what the glory of God will be like when we finally see it face to face.